sight in the game to see the boxing boys. And uh, with this fight, you know, obviously uh, there's a lot of things that could happen. Chris Ariolo didn't look too good versus Fred Cassie, but you're in that universe now. You're in the PBC universe. A win over Tarver could mean a WBC title shot versus Deontay Wilder. Um, is that in the back of your mind, and is that added motivation for winning this fight? Shout out to Deontay Wilder. Um, being a world champion is in the back of my mind. If it's Deontay Wilder, if it's Klitschko, if it's Fury, that's in the back of my mind, just the world championship win, period. You know, no disrespect for none of them guys. Good champions, good fighters. Um, I, we watched Deontay, you know, win his title. You know, we understand that elation he felt, you know, winning the title, you know. Um, I mean, if we fight, we fight. If not, um, whatever. But uh, I want to be world champion again, heavyweight world champion. It don't, it don't, don't matter who has the belt. You know, so I, I don't really, I never call names, you know, because um, I know my life is in the hands of God. So however he wants me to go, that's the way I go. You know, and, and of course, they say, that saying, tell God your plans, he's going to laugh at you. Of course, we got our plan. And I'm sure, I mean, we had our plan. It wasn't losing the glass off by, you know, cheesy decision. It wasn't losing the atomic on another crazy decision. You know, that was our plans, winning that and going here. And God was laughing at us. Like, ha, I got something else for you. I mean, I'm comfortable and happy where I am. As long as I'm able to work and do what I do at this level and still put on a good show for the fans and overall please my team, that's it. Well, the, the negativity was obviously in the past. Now you're looking forward. Uh, you got Antonio Tarver in front of your sights. Uh, what could you predict for this performance? A win, you know, a win, hard work. Um, you know, uh, Steve Cunningham to go out and do what he does. You know what I mean? I go out to win. I go out there to win no matter what happens. This dude can kick me, he can elbow me, he can headbutt me. I'm still going to do my best to beat him. My last question, like I told your trainer, Nazim Richardson, a lot of these guys you've been in there with, like Tyson Fury, is going to be fighting world champion Vladimir Klitschko. Fred Casey was just in there with a guy that, you know, uh, with Areola, but, you know, his, before that he was knocked out by a guy you went the distance with. Uh, does that give you added motivation that you can compete at this level, that people that say you're a small heavyweight is a myth because you're competing with the top guys at the highest level? Uh, we've already had that motivation from... Um from day one, you know, um, we got in there with Jason Gavin, did that, you know, had him wincing and body shots and, you know, just, you know, Jason Gavin puts on a show too, but he, he's, a, he's not just a dude that will fall over for you. So, I mean, we knew coming up from Cruiserweight, Nazim knew about my attributes, my athleticism and our, our good things that can propel us in this heavyweight division. Um, then fighting Adamic and putting on such a performance, even with, the, even with them robbing me, I don't, I don't even consider that fight a loss, you know, but we did a great job. So I, I, I feel I proved that I should be a heavyweight and I'm here I can contend. Any social media so fans can follow you if they haven't done so already? Yep, Twitter, USS Cunningham, Instagram, The Real USS, and Facebook, just Steve Cunningham. Hit me up. Thank you very much, Steve. All right, Peter.